What's up? My name is Jacob Hilbert. I'm the executive chef of the Hollow American Brasserie in Georgetown, Texas, home of the most beautiful square in Texas. It's official. We have a sticker that tells us that, which means it must be so. Over here, we've got the bar. Um, lots of great old world wines, lots of great new world wines. Fits right in line with our concept. Uh, I am a, a, a chef and a person who believes in violent aesthetic collision. I love the idea of old and new finding harmony and marriage in a, a, a new context. Um, the whole thing with this restaurant for me was to try to figure out how do I take what, what is ostensibly a, a modern aesthetic and make it comfortable, make it, make it accessible. Our dining room is small, it's intimate. We do have private dining upstairs, sort of a private mezzanine, uh, very cute, very quaint. Beautiful sort of setting up here. Occasionally we do live music upstairs in the, in the mezzanine. Um, nothing too crazy. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, we had Cannibal Corpse in once and they, they got a little out of control. The mosh pit on the chef's table was a bit much. Again, local, I know it's a bandwagon thing, but it's not really a bandwagon thing because history has dictated that, that the idea of eating locally is actually an incredibly old, incredibly practical, incredibly useful idea. And the idea that modern chefs are just sort of now embracing it in the post chez Panisse world is kind of funny to me, it's, it's, it's almost laughable. But uh, be that as it may, it's a solvent ethic. So from our wine list to our beer list to the kind of food that we prepare, um, I am sort of, I guess you could say I'm south by southwest France. Um, the technique, French, the ingredients, Texas. All right, so I love quiche. Every French chef should love quiche. Every cook should love quiche. Real men do eat quiche. So listen, we've got quiche. We've got goat cheese, which is evocative to me of, you know, cream cheese and lox, which of course for me is like one of the ultimate comfort foods. And it's fascinating because, you know, we talk about comfort foods. What, 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 what are those, you know? Because cured salmon to some people is like a, a novelty, like they, you, you never see it. Uh, for me, I grew up with it. So uh, I'm always fascinated by that, which you can determine as comfort food or soul food or avant-garde. It's like, it all depends on your perspective. So anyways, we have a really basic quiche here. Again, the egg, smoked jalapeno, uh, a little goat cheese on the top. We've got a crazy, crazy little thing here called pie dough. And that just goes sort of right on the top there, almost like a, a, a pot pie. We've got some cured salmon. Of course, we cured it here, going right on the top there. Just really kind of throw it together simple, little rosettes, you know, cornets, whatever you want to call them. Make it beautiful, always make it beautiful. Okay. Stay, stay. You have to talk to your food. If you don't talk to your food, it doesn't listen. So I've got a little bit of orange air here. We're just going to go right on top there. I'm going to kind of funk it up a little bit. And of course, you know, citrus and salmon, not crazy, not unusual. We've got some really pretty icicle radishes. And uh, again, local icicle radish. Of course, the salmon's not local. I haven't been able to find any wild Texas king salmon at present. So anyways, I got some beautiful uh, chives that came right out of the back door. And we've got some carrot greens also coming right out of the back door. And we've got some pickled chilies a little acidity. Think about salmon and capers. And that's just basically where the idea came from. Nothing crazy unusual. But the effect is kind of unusual. Avant-garde, I guess you could say. So yeah, this is what we got. Smoked jalapeno quiche with cured salmon and citrus. And that's that.